going on, everybody? DJ Coham here. Welcome back to the channel. Let's find some news, baby. Hashtag Today we've got 18 PC mods in testing. We have 14 console mods in testing. With all those, 12 mods were released today. A2 Studio teases the TLX 3500. Agritonos Case H Farm All's coming together. JA Mining announces the number on his new Massey. Yagi's Mining is adding front weights to his Massey 1X5. FS Mining is making everything dirty. VSR Mining announced the feature set for their new slurry tank. Premise Mods is turning the storm into the Mandaco. Team IWMM have some new Lapacho trees. MRG Mapping has released Simon Family Farms. White Bull Mining have updated Richport, but do you need a new game save? Plus, Lancy Boys American Life Farming is almost ready. Let's check it out. In testing for PC, we have the Breedle K195, Conal EDK660, Sign Command N233 4-1, Exacta U3 point scale, Facial Roller 3 and 6 meter, Fertilizing Function for Weeder, John Deere 6R Sound Pack, Kubota XTS446, Landscape Company, Mandem Pallet Fork, Old Building, One Axle Wood Trailer, Rabbitino, Record TPN30, Road Rage Cabria, Seasons Geo South Yorkshire, Euro 5557 43 2060 Farmer and Vertical Tillage 335. In testing for consoles, we have the Annaberger HTS 2203, AT Weights Pack, Bucket, Buildings with a Garage, Case IH Axle Flow 250 Series, Case IH Maxim CVX US, Lapacho Trees, Lizard 4M, Massey Ferguson ATR Series Pack, Old Medium House, Pack of Old Fences Homemade, Road Decorations, Small Flatbed Trailer, and the Farm of Ben. With all that being said, we still have 11 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is one workday. In addition to the mods and testing, 12 new and updated mods were released today on the endgame mod hub, including the Reich 120 semi-trailer. I've already made a video showing these off, and you can find that video linked in the first pinned comment and description below. Moving into today's top stories, we start with A2 Studio, like always, and his TLX 3500 extended cab. That's right, the TLX 3500 is one of the most anticipated mods out there and has been worked on privately with his channel members on YouTube. But today, we all get to see it. As it sits right now, it's only got a few customization options because the mod is just not done yet, but it will have more in the future. Don't worry about that. The version that you are seeing here is kitted out with multiple light options, a snorkel, bed customization, and some serious suspension. This thing will literally go over just about anything and still have all four wheels on the ground. That's insane. He also showed off more progress on the TLX Phoenix dump truck as well, which is coming together very nicely. If you want to check out either of these mods, I will leave a link to his live stream from last night where you can see both of the mods in all of their glory. These are for all platforms. Agritano looks to be close to completion on their Case IH Farmall Series 100A tractor. They say that they are working on the customization options right now, and if there's anything that you would like for them to add, drop by their Facebook page and let them know. I'll make sure that that's linked in the description for you guys. Here, we can see a few things like wheel options, different cabin options, and even an air open cab with a roll, a roll bar. I am very excited about that one. That's definitely my favorite. We also get to see multiple different front weight configurations, front three points and things like that. There's just some of the customization shown here and they're sure to be more. So make sure you let them know if there's anything missing that you don't see in these screenshots. This is a mod that also has been made for all platforms. JA Modding has announced what model number the Massey Ferguson he is working on will be, and that is the Massey Ferguson MF275. This should have around 60 horsepower, so plenty to get around your farm for running a smaller size farm, things like that. This is still a work in progress and is for all platforms. Yaki's Modding shows off some new renders of their Massey Ferguson, the MF1X5 series four wheel drive. And here you can see some new front weight options that were not visible in yesterday's screenshots. As of right now, we only see this one option, which has 10 plates split into two groups of five, and unfortunately, no other information is available. All that was said was MF1X5 4x4 front weights. One thing that we do know is this will be an update to the Massey Ferguson 1X5 that we got yesterday for all platforms, and I'll let you guys know once we get more. FS Monig shows off their Lizard Thunder in game with their trailer infield carting, and we get to see the new dirt texture that's going to be coming with both of these models. I do have to say, they both look awesome with these dirt. I think it's done very well, and I think they look great. What do you guys think? As far as we know right now, the Thunder will be getting an update and the trailer will be released as a new mod for all platforms, though this could change 
and I'll let you guys know if it does. VSR Modding have released the specs for their slurry tank that we teased yesterday in this very dark photo. This is going to be called the Slurry Tank 70 as it describes a modern and agile new generation of tank with a capacity indicator in liters. It's gonna cost you $25,000, so very, very cheap. Has a capacity of 65,000 liters, which is odd that it's called Slurry Tank 70. Uh, it's gonna have main and rim color configurations, and you can even change up the tires. Naturally, this is the only in-game screenshot that we've got, so all we get is this super dark and mysterious photo. Last week, JA Modding released their Storm S4020 Cultivator, and late yesterday evening, Perma's Modding has released an edit of that mod with the real-life Mandaco name brand added to the mod. They've also elevated the warning triangle off the frame. They've added the Mandaco logo under the warning triangle, of course, changed some of the existing reflectors and added new ones, modified the wheel size to be closer to the real-life version, added Mandaco shields, added the needed horsepower, and they've adjusted that as well. So the Mandaco recommends 100 or 600 plus horsepower for the 40 foot version, which was what we've got here. They've also adjusted the working speed from 11 miles per hour. Mandaco says a maximum of 12, no more. This mod is available via the link below beside Mandaco 40 foot download. On the testing list today, you probably saw the Lapacho Trees mod, and here we get to see what the mod is going to look like from Team IWM Ilm. Right now, all we have is the pink tree, but this is gonna add three other variants, purple one, yellow, and a light pink version. This mod is for all platforms and should be out any day now. MRG Mapping has released their Simon Family Farms version number one, and it is available right now for PC and Mac players over on Mod Network. He also says that if you are looking for an appropriate geo to use with this mod, download the Minnesota geo off of Mod Hub, as that is one of the closest to the areas in it, only a couple hours down the road from Simon Family Farms location. He does mention that if you find any issues with the map to let him know over on his Facebook page, link below, we'll leave also a link to Simon Family Farms download. This is a mod network link. Again, this map is for PC and Mac only. White Bull Modding released an update to Richport today, fixing many issues and adding new functions to the map, like the ability to sell the decoration items on your main farm. One thing that they did not mention on the Mod Hub changelog is that this will require a new game save. So if you have been playing on this map for a while and have a very, very uh, big farm or something like that, and you want these changes to take effect, you will need to create a new game save. Just a heads up. And lastly today, Lancey Boy says that his next map, The American Life of Farming, is now ready to be sent off to selective testers and streamers. This version is going to be the standard edition, which will be available mana for all platforms once it passes testing and is released, and that it will have a few extra crops as well. Once this main version passes testing, work will start on the farming agency version to include support for all of the Maze Plus extensions and all of the extra crops that come with that. That's going to be PC and Mac only, unfortunately. Stay tuned, so I'll be showing off the map once I get my hands on it. And my hands have been cold all morning because my air conditioner finally works. Let's go. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, hey DJ, where's that thing? Well, that just soon means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video on that thing. Please refer to previous episodes for the most current status of that thing, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on the other things. <laughs> Everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Oof, rough outro. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the Goham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. Tomorrow's Farm Sim News is going to be very, very early because I have to stream with Giants tomorrow afternoon, and it is not going to happen if I do farm some news later. So it's going to be super, super early in the morning. Just a heads up. All being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Yo, I bought a brand new couch. Who does that? You get free couches on the side of the road.